Teslas are the safest cars on the road or darn close to it. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla Weekend. So you may remember a while back, Consumer Reports reported auto industry and lawmakers call for driver monitoring systems to improve safety. Well, here we are. Tesla cars will now spy on you to make sure you don't autopilot yourself into a PR disaster. Yeah, they have uh, turned on some safety measures. Apparently, now you have to be awake and in the driver's seat to operate a Tesla. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought this was America. After countless documented samples of abuse and a number of tragic accidents, they're finally implementing some driver monitoring systems to improve safety. And while it's true everyone should be free to be whatever manner of stupid they would like, I can agree as a fellow occupant of the highways, this is for the best. Rivervale Leasing is reporting which cars have been in the most and least accidents. And this is only for the UK, so let's take a look. Uh, the most accidents. One, two, and four are all voxels, so that's uh, terrible. 511 accidents per 10,000 cars on the road. Yikes. Well, uh, by brand, Vauxhall, Renault, Peugeot, Ford, Toyota, Mercedes. And you could say, well, these cars just have a lot of models on the road. And that is true. That is true. But it's not the whole picture. And you could say, well, the Ford Focus, Volkswagen Golf, and Ford Fiesta do not have uh, active driver safety systems in place. And that's also true. There is a bias towards newer, more expensive cars in terms of safety, but that doesn't really take away from it. So let's look at the safest ones. Number one, Morris, which I had to look up. It's an antique car. Uh, yeah, not a lot of people crashing antique cars. The Austin at 26 crashes per 10,000 cars and the Tesla at 28, which for a mass produced car in large volume is substantial and fantastic. That is great news. And if you look, it's three times less likely to be in an accident than a Bentley, four times less likely than an Infiniti. That is great news. And it is, you know, even among the Mercedes, it's like 10 times less likely to be in an accident. And again, I know that includes the older Mercedes, but come on, man. Mercedes are renowned for, I don't know, safety. Auto Trader in the UK awarded Best Car for Families Award to the Tesla Model 3 for a variety of reasons, one of which is, you know, the safety factor. Surely it's got to be, but uh, it's practical, it's fast, and importantly, it's cool. And yeah, I can agree with all of those, and it's not a million dollars, though, especially in the UK, it's pretty close. The BBC is reporting a Tesla car written off as Lori sheds load of slabs in Norfolk. Norfolk? Mm. Uh, to translate this into Merck in English, a lorry is a delivery truck, uh, drops, you know, paver tiles. So a couple escaped with minor injuries. Neil and Allison were heading uptown, let's see. The 50,000 pound car was written off, and uh, I don't mean that it's as heavy as a Hummer EV. No, that's a price with minor bruises. He said it hit with such force that the suspension broke, the windscreen and the glass roof shattered, but mostly those held up. It's a terrific car. I think the engineers who designed it saved our lives. Tesla owner apologizes for staging brake failure incident in China. Yeah, it turns out uh, that whole China thing, not so real after all. Um, when pressed, the lady who climbed up on the hood and made a scene at the auto show wasn't real, was not real. It was nonsense. And you know what? I am. I am just sure that the media will turn right around and report this with the same furor they did that nonsense story, except of course they will not. Attempted murder charges filed against Anaheim man suspected in BB gun freeway shootings. Yeah, there was a rash of shootings. And how did they catch this guy who was 
blowing out windows on the freeway. Well, it turns out uh, it was captured on a Tesla cam. The surrounding cameras got him. So while this is an indirect safety issue, it's definitely a safety issue and I'll count it. So off safety, I've got a couple legal things that we got to talk about. Support Tesla and EVs in Delaware. The Tesla policy team sent out this notice. Uh, there's an intent to deny Tesla's application for a sales license to open a sales and service location in Delaware. Come on, guys, can we get past this yet? This is ridiculous. I know the dealers have a franchise model that's got you by the knackers, but we got to get past it. So if you're in Delaware, maybe reach out to your legislators and tell them how's you feels. And of course, Texans may have to pay 200 to 400 fee for driving an electric vehicle. Well, this is fair um, because they're not paying gasoline tax, which is used to maintain the roads. Though, if we're being more fair, we could point out that an awful lot of the roads are toll roads anyway, which they're still paying, and 400 bucks a year? Ain't nobody paying 400 bucks a year in state gasoline tax. That's just too high. That's just too much, man. So it didn't pass, and yeah, it's not going to be taken up, it looks like, for another two years when the state legislature reconvenes. And yeah, here's the story on that. Tesla's offer to charge electric vehicles has failed for now. Punny. Charge electric vehicles. Mmm. So clever, it almost makes the headline not make sense. Yeah, it didn't pass, and the fees are expected to come up again in 2023, at which time there's going to be an awful lot of them on the road, hopefully, yes, Cybertrucks. So, guys, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me one tasty platter of comments in the comments below. Yeah, I could have said that better, but I got work to do, so let's keep moving. Stay tuned, uh, stay juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity-flop.